Hello, I'm Jonathan Van Bilsen from Photos and Travel, and this is travel news you need to know. Traveling around the world is of course limited at best. This month's travel news update focuses on places around the globe which you'll want to know about once we're able to travel freely again. Let's start in Venice. You may be aware that in an effort to control water levels in this city of canals, a series of flood prevention gates were installed in the 1980s. Typically, cost increases and an array of other issues delayed completion until 2003. The beginning of October saw the first time these 78 gates were raised as the tide outside the lagoon in which Venice is located went over 4 feet or just over a meter. The gates kept the water within the city below street level, ensuring no flooding took place. Thank goodness the system worked, as it's still in its testing phase and is not expected to be fully operational until 2021. One of the most popular soft drinks anywhere is of course Coca-Cola. But did you know that there are two countries in the world where it's impossible to purchase this global staple? That's right, if you go to Cuba or North Korea, you will not find this much-loved beverage on any shelf. Both nations have their own brand of cola, which they claim tastes exactly the same. Voodoo has long been practiced on the island of Haiti, and it's the basis for cults such as zombies. Visitors now have an opportunity to explore the religion and rituals related to voodoo at Haiti's Bureau de Ethnologie. There are hundreds of artifacts, art and photographs all pertaining to voodoo practices in the country. Make sure you take a translation app with you because all of the signs are in Haitian French only. If you're a fan of hiking, you'll want to make your way to Norway as soon as this pandemic allows it. The Hardanger Fjord in Norway, quite close to the popular coastal town of Bergen, is now much more accessible due to construction of a hiking bridge across the canyon high above the Voringsfossen waterfall. The 45 meter or 154 foot long footbridge includes 99 steps, as one end is higher than the other. And if you want to spend the night, the higher end of the bridge is near the Fossli Hotel. Amenities at the top of the falls include new paths and lookout points and will be opened in 2021. This two kilometer hiking trail is open from May to October. Visit the website on the screen for more information. From our only in Australia department, the City Harbour Bridge introduced a new ultimate climb that allows climbers to walk the entire length of the bridge's arch south to north and back again. Climbing the bridge has long been a favorite of tourists and locals alike, but until now, you are only able to go to the summit of the arch and back. Now that you can climb the entire length of the bridge, locals are flocking to do so before the tourist trade resumes. The climb takes about three and a half hours. You have to wear a safety harness, but you will receive a group photo from the summit as well as a certificate of achievement. The cost of the experience is 348 Australian dollars, which is about 325 Canadian or 250 US dollars. Booking has to be done in advance, and information can be found at the website listed on the screen. There will be no dancing in the streets of Rio next spring. Carnival, the week long over the top Brazilian party every February, was cancelled last month. The reason, of course, was the COVID pandemic. Brazil has had a total of 5.5 million cases with 160,000 deaths. The last time the carnival was cancelled was in 1912, following the death of the foreign relations minister. It wasn't actually cancelled back then, only postponed by two months. Of course, people use that as an opportunity to party twice. If you were planning on visiting Carnival, you may have to dance the samba at home, at least next year. Riding a train is always thrilling, but riding a train that's more than 100 years old 
is a real adventure. London's Postal Museum is offering rides to visitors on a miniature postal train known as the Mail Rail. The ride is 15 minutes long and it's located 20 meters or 70 feet under the Mount Pleasant Royal Mail Sorting Room. You'll find the ride a bit cramped as the carriages are only 125 centimeters or 51 inches high and less than a meter wide. Some portions of the trek are in total darkness. For more information, visit the website on the screen. You may think a shopping mall on a Saturday is the most congested place on Earth, but actually, a small island off the coast of Colombia has them beat. The island of Santa Cruz is about the size of two soccer fields and has four main streets and ten neighborhoods. Only 500 people live on the island in 155 houses. With so many people packed into such a small place, it's the most densely populated island in the world. We at Photos and Travel recently discovered a very small, out-of-the-way medieval village which is a photographer's paradise. It is the Saxon village of Cricklade, located about 90 minutes west of London, just south of the Cotswolds. It's off the beaten path, so you're not going to run into hundreds of camera-carrying tourists, even when there is no pandemic. The village dates back to the 11th century and is a 20-minute taxi ride from Swindon Station. The town is so small that there are no chain stores at all and only one high street with cafes, pubs and a number of small independently owned shops. There are only 112 buildings in the entire village, 40 of which are listed on a very detailed village walking map. The map is available on the website and can be found throughout the village. What a great place to wander around, try one of the many craft beers, and even have an order of fish and chips or bangers and mash. If walking is your thing, on the outskirts of town is the Thames Park National Walking Trail, which is about 250 kilometers long and extremely well maintained. For more information, visit the extensive website shown on the screen. If you've ever had the opportunity to throw coins in the Trevi Fountain, make a wish and see if it comes true, you're still able to do that even though a barrier has been set up around Rome's famous landmark. The reason for the barrier is to stop people from sitting along the fountain's rim. The barrier will neither block views of the fountain nor prevent people from throwing coins. Sitting on the fountain was made illegal in 2019 but the city had not enforced the law until now. If you're one of those who's thinking about climbing into the fountain as people do this all the time, the barrier will help obstruct this from happening as well. And finally, from our Did You Know department, are you aware that today, out of 200 countries around the world, there are only three that do not use the metric system? They are Liberia, Myanmar, and the United States. Soon, that number is going to come down to two as Liberia plans to adopt a metric system in the very near future. And that's it for now. I'll be back next month with another travel news update. Please email me your questions and comments. I'm Jonathan Van Bilsen for Photos and Travel, where we bring the world to your doorstep. And always remember, travel safe.